election. Right now, voters in Ohio don't know which state districts they'll be voting in for our primary election, which is next month. But there is legislation in the works to change the way we vote. Uh, controversial voter ID bill has now been introduced in the state Senate, but our State House reporter Morgan Trout found out its advocates say they're ready to address the number one concern about these types of legislation. State data shows there are nearly 8 million registered voters in Ohio. Of that, about 875,000 are in Cuyahoga County. The County Board of Elections says of the 230,000 voters in the last election, half of 1% used non-traditional forms of ID, like utility bills, to vote. Ohio is a really important state, and voters um, need to be confident that their vote is being counted and counted correctly. Republican State Senator Teresa Gavarone from the Bowling Green area has introduced Senate Bill 320. It would require a photo ID to vote in Ohio's elections. This means voters would only be allowed to use state identification cards issued by the BMV, like a driver's license, to cast their ballot. We don't really know why this bill is necessary. Our system works. Critics of the bill, like Colin Marazzi with the ACLU of Ohio, say all it would do is make it more difficult to vote. The senator says most people vote with their license already, so it isn't a huge change. But it gives those who are skeptical of elections some peace of mind. To be very clear, there is no evidence of widespread voter fraud in Ohio or in the United States. In fact, state data reports 0.0005% of the nearly 6 million votes in the 2020 election were fraudulent, and they were caught. The requirement that it has to have your current address is going to affect way more people in Ohio than what somebody would typically think. This bill would also require that the identification has the exact address you live at. Marazzi says this bill would disproportionately impact marginalized groups, like college students who move apartments each school year, elderly people who no longer drive, and those who are transient that don't have one set residence. Honestly, I think that's kind of insulting. I think most people do have an ID, and if you don't have one, we're going to give one to you. A provision in the bill states that if you are at least 17 years old and have all of your documentation in order to get an ID, you can receive it free of charge. The Secretary of State's team says they are currently looking at the bill to better understand its implications. At the State House, Morgan Trout, News 5.